AI has completely changed the way that we can study languages. I'm on my fourth language now studying Polish and it's completely different to the way that I studied other languages simply because of the AI technologies that are now available. So you can use AI to help you study vocabulary, to help you with your listening, to help you with your reading, to help you with your speaking. There are even some great free speaking apps. In this video, I'm gonna show you five of my favorite tools. These are tools that I use all the time. The tools I've selected either have a free option or they're completely free, and some of them don't even need you to sign up. I really hope you find this video useful. One final thing, some people ask me, how do I make my videos? Well, to make my videos, I use a technology called Camtasia. And if you're interested, I've put a link below where you can test out Camtasia for free. And there's also a link to a course that I made on Camtasia, which is also free. And there's also links in case you wanna buy Camtasia. And if you buy it from me, you'll get an additional discount. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Really hope you like it. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment on it. Please join me on my YouTube channel. Five of the best AI tools to learn languages. We're going to start with this one, this Jiglish, because Jiglish covers lots of different languages and it's for speaking. And the great thing is you don't even need to sign up. You can use it for 10 minutes a day for free. I've already practiced using it in Spanish, in French, and in Polish. I'll do a Spanish example today. So I'm gonna click here, and then I'm gonna choose favorite teacher. It's gonna start speaking to me almost straight away. You'll hear it, and I'll be able to reply. So I click on this button here. Hola, soy Gliglis. Practiquemos tu español. ¿Cómo te llamas? Click on this button here. Bueno, me llamo Russell. Soy profesor de inglés y vivo en Polonia. Y hablo español porque estuve allí unos 11 años. Y entonces cuando viví en España aprendí a hablar español. Send it. Hola, Russell. Encantada de conocerte. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Me alegra saber que eres profesor de inglés y que has tenido la oportunidad de vivir en Polonia y España. ¿Qué te llevó a vivir en esos lugares? Cuéntame un poco más sobre tu experiencia en España y cómo aprendiste español allí. And I can carry on working like that. It's really interesting, both in terms of the opportunity to practice my speaking, but also, of course, my listening. Now, what I love about this technology is there's no sign up and you can use it for free for up to 10 minutes a day. And as you can see, there are many, many languages. This is actually my latest discovery. I can't believe what they give you for free because it's very generous. And what this technology does is it takes the transcript from any video or any audio. So if I put in a Polish video or a Spanish video or a French video that I wanna study, it will extract the transcript from that video and it will also then allow me to copy and edit, but also to be able to listen to the uh, audio and also follow the transcript. So we've got a perfect example here of a lesson i done just today. If I click on it, then you can see that it extracted the transcript from me. And I also, it actually also extracts the audio from the video. So you can now play and follow at the same time, which in itself is really useful. Let me just show you. Cześć, czołem kluski z Rosołem. Słuchasz polski. So this is absolutely brilliant, but the most important thing for me is not only can I now read and listen to anything that I've taken from, particularly from YouTube, which is what I normally use, but also, for example, if there's any words that I don't understand, I can select those words, I can copy those words, and maybe I'm gonna put them into, I'm gonna put them into, for example, Google Translate to see what they mean. There are a few other buttons that are very useful here on the side, so if I click back here, you'll notice that each day you can add up to three videos a day and each video can be up to 30 minutes. Now, how do you add a video? It's very easy. Just click on transcribe files. Now I 
normally work with YouTube videos, so I click on this link here, because I'm just gonna paste in the link to a YouTube video, and then I'm gonna extract the text from that video, but it's also gonna extract the audio so that I can listen to the audio and read at the same time. Let me just quickly show you. So all you need to do is to copy the link from the video. So if you copy the link from the video, I'm just gonna copy that link here, okay? And then I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna click on transcribe file, click on link. I'm gonna paste that in. Now the first thing that you need to do is just simply import. And that just takes a few seconds to do. Just wait, and once it's imported, then you've got a couple of settings that you can choose from and then you click transcript and it will generate the transcript from the video. So just waiting for it to do that, it's done it now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to Polish, it's already set there. I'm gonna have it balanced, how good the transcription will be. If you're worried about the quality of the video, then you can increase it to more accurate. You have a few other settings here which might be useful. Um, if you've got more than one speaker, you can click on recognize speakers and it will kind of show you where the got a different speaker and that can be quite useful we've got two speakers in this one and also I haven't used these but um, you can restore the audio get a better quality audio as well if for example the audio isn't very good quality now when you click on this button it's really important to understand when you click on transcribe it will start transcribing that video for you it will extract the text or generate the text for you so that you'll be able to read and listen at the same time but it also actually it actually also generates a new audio file and the reason that is so interesting is you'll see in a moment okay so it's now done i can see it's 100 percent done it will only do up to 30 minutes so if your video is longer than 30 minutes it's only going to take the 30 first 30 minutes now the important point i'm trying to make is that you've also got the audio file now as well as the text so it extracts the audio file and the text as well okay so you can now play and listen and stop but of course you can copy any words and perhaps put them into Google Translate and check the meanings of them, etc. I love this tool. Just a super quick 30 second break from the video. If you like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's loads of content on the front page. You can also see the menu system here at the top. And if you want to really follow my work, sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest blog posts, the courses, the free webinars that we run, as well as all the latest videos. And at the moment, if you sign up, there is a free 14 part video course in using technology in language teaching. And I li literally show you some of the best free technologies. There's one or two paid, but nearly everything is free. And you might find that really useful. There are no tricks. Let's get back to the video. For a long time, this tool was my favorite. As I said, TurboScript now has become my favorite. This, But this is still absolutely fantastic and I use it daily. Basically, I, there is a free option, free, and what it does is it allows you to take any text, paste it in and listen to that text being read out by a native voice. There are many, many languages. And what I love about this, I can use it to listen to a text or listen to a selection of words if I wanna practice the pronunciation or even some sentences. All I need to do is click on here, start for free and just paste in, I'll close this one down. I just paste in some text here and then I choose the voice that I wanna use and it will be read out. Let me show you a quick example. So let's do this example in English. I'm gonna just come down here and grab this text from my website just to make it easy. Okay, so I just copy the text. Obviously this could be from a blog, from a newspaper article, from anywhere basically, where you can copy the text. Come back, I paste the text in, so I'm pasting it in. Now of course I've gotta make sure I choose the right language and the right speaker. So I've got lots of languages that I can work with, not just English. I'm gonna choose an English, English accent and I'll choose Sonia. Just click here. Now let's listen to Sonia reading out the text for me. Russell Stannard is a multi-award winning educational technologist and founder of www.teachertrainingvideos.com. 
I absolutely love this tool. Of course, I could just write a series of words here that I wanted to hear the pronunciation from, or just some sentences. You don't have to paste in, you can just write the words. If I just write in a couple of words, then the same thing is gonna happen. So, okay, so if I, sorry, right, if I write in, let's write accommodation, let's just write in fragile, let's just write in easy, and let's just, just to show you really quickly, I'll choose another accent, let's try a different one, let's try an Australian accent we use William let's listen to William reading out these words for me accommodation fragile easy now you've got this again you don't need to sign in to use it and you can use it for up to 4,000 characters per day for free absolutely love it fantastic to help me with my pronunciation Now, this isn't a technology that I use every day, but I do find this really useful when I've got a word that's kind of difficult and I wanna hear lots of examples of that word so that I can understand what it means. Now, what happens on this system, and it works in lots of languages, is that you can write in a word and it will show you lots of examples from YouTube of how that word is used. Now, more interestingly, it also gives you the subtitles. Let me give you an example. Let's write the word a accommodation in to Uglish. I'll choose English. I click on say it and immediately it's going to bring up 1,005, well sorry, 5,982 examples. Notice that underneath we can see the sentence where the word accommodation is being used. We can play it and if we want to go to the next sentence, we click here. Let me just show you. So I'll click again to carry on or you can click here to play or here to play. So just click. Volunteer to live in the accommodation. And they keep a what? Next one. Science Park to include teaching and research facilities as well as student accommodation. Next one. At St. Cross, you can choose to stay in accommodation on site, but also off site, because we are absolutely brilliant. And what I often need to do as well, or often do with this one, is that again, if there are any words that I don't understand, I can actually click on those words as well, and it's going to give me a quick uh, explanation of that word. From multiple locations throughout the city. I don't use this technology every day, but I do find this really useful when I've got a word that I'm not quite sure what it means, I can't quite get it, and I want to see lots of examples of that word being used. The other great thing about this technology is it's free. This looks very interesting. Uh, it's called Languate. And I'm going to have the instructions in English, but the language that I'm going to practice to learn will be Spanish. So I click here. Now I get a certain number of activities per day. I'm going to, as you can see, you've got listening, speaking, reading and writing here. So we've got all the options. I'm going to do a listening activity because the listening's also got, well, let, let, let's, let's actually do a reading because we've really kind of concentrated in other aspects on other parts. So I'm going to call, now I can actually put in a text if I want or I can get a text generated. So I'm going to choose here and I'm going to choose, um, I'm just going to write traveling in Spain as my topic. I'm going to click on generate and it's going to generate a text around that topic for me in, in Spanish. Now, if I'm not happy, I can ask for it to be regenerated. So if I click on that, now it's going to regenerate the story. Okay. And then if I click on continue, then what it's going to do now is it's going to create some questions based around that text. And now we can see now that we've got here durante en España tuve una oportunidad. Okay, so then. Uh, Okay, so Andalusia. Okay, then we click here and move on to the next question. Okay, Gaspacho. Okay, so then I can answer these questions. Okay, and it doesn't actually allow you to carry on until you answer the question correctly. Now, there, as I said, there are a number of things. There's a speaking tool here that actually looks pretty interesting. I've already shown you a good one on this video anyway, but you might want to look into this. And the listening will do very similar to the writing activity or reading activity, but it will generate um, 
audio instead. So I've been playing around with this one in Spanish. Um, I'm hoping as well that they're going to generate the same thing in Polish and in French. But this is really good if you want to generate a topic with the audio or a topic and then very quickly do some comprehension questions around that activity. And again, the interesting thing is that you get five free activities per day. Okay, I really hope you liked the video and if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. You can see lots of different things across the top, including a whole section on AI and ChatGPT. You can also find out about the courses that I run on the front page, my Patreon if you're interested in uh, meeting me and having training with me. And also, if you want to, you can sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest blog posts, the webinars, the online courses, and of course, all the latest videos. Plus, there is a 14-part free video course in using technology in language teaching, which really highlights the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. You can also contact me from the website if you want me to do some training with you or with your organization. And I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find interesting.